When the Canadians began their season last year, Carey Price and Shea Weber, both of these guys were so banged up that they couldn't play. Okay, and they tried everything to fix themselves up. From surgeries, to using Aquaman Pa Barnes' body for spare parts, but nothing worked, okay? Because Barnes' bones were just too small. And unfortunately for the Canadians, not only did both of these guys bring a lot of leadership to the room that's been sorely missed since their absence, but they were also under contract for big, big money. I'm talking Breaking Bad, Walter White kind of cash for many, many years. Now we gotta give Dr. Evil number two some credit, okay? Because this summer they managed to get rid of one of these contracts. The easiest of the two when they moved Shea Weber for Big Daddy Nav. And while this trade didn't make a lot of sense for some fans, just wait, okay? Give it some time. Wait until the trade deadline, at least. Because I've got a feeling like Daddy Nav is gonna be on the move again. The return for Weber isn't finalized just yet. Give it some time. But as for Carey Price and the possibility of trading him, trust me when I say this one is a lot more difficult. The Seattle Crackheads could have taken this guy for absolutely nothing during their entry draft. They could have got him for free, but they didn't. They decided against it, and at the time I was kind of surprised, but not anymore. I completely understand now. Seattle did their homework on Price. They knew he was a huge gamble, and uh, they said, hell no, we ain't taking him. Seattle's diehard fans who were following the Kraken for what, like 80 years? They might have not understood at the time, but but since that draft, you can count on your fingers how many games Price have played. Even if you got fingers like Brendan Gallagher. Price had a surgery. He also had some big setbacks after this surgery. And truth be told, we're still not even sure if he ever returns again. Isn't that something? Everybody seems to doubt him. But for some reason, one man that seems pretty confident that he's going to return is Stefan Waite. The Canadian's former goaltending coach recently came public and said that he fully believes Carey Price will make a comeback and play for Montreal again. And even though this is a guy that, you know, talks to Price regularly, I don't know if I'm buying what he's selling here. I think Price is full of good intentions, okay? He wants to come back, there's no doubt about it. But it's just been so long, and there's been so many setbacks that it's beginning to look more and more unrealistic. And there's also the worry that if he does come back, how good is he gonna be? I don't know what you guys thought, but when he did come back last year, he didn't really look... <laughs> too good at all, did he not? And it's just a damn shame if he comes back and ends his career on a bad note. It's nice for him to go out on top. And when you really look at it, these are all reasons why I think trading Carey Price is gonna be a difficult thing for Kent Hughes to do. He's gonna have to play it smart, you know, maybe try and get a hold of another GM on a Saturday morning at like 2 a.m. when they're pissed drunk. That's the only way that it's gonna work. And even then, the first thing that needs to happen right now before the Canadians even decide what to do with them is that Price actually has to give a definitive answer on what his plans for the future are. He needs to see his doctors in New York where he had his operation, he needs to see his doctors in Montreal, and they all gotta clash and try and find out what's best for him. If they seem to think that it's time for Price to, you know, hang up his skates, well, as much as that sucks for him, that's what he's gonna have to do. But if they think they can, you know, use some more Gorilla Tape and some crazy glue on his knee, and he's gonna be ready to go? Well, again, that's crazy, but it's up to Price. All I know is it's been an exhausting couple of years with Price. And I think not only does his fans want answers, but so does Kent Hughes and Jeff Gordon. These guys want answers too. Their plan for the future and how they orchestrate things over the next couple of years, it all depends on what happens with Carey Price. I know, I know, it's only one player, but this one player is a goaltender and he's getting paid over 10 million bucks of your cap hit. That's a lot of money to have wrapped up onto a goaltender that's as durable as a fluorescent light bulb. So hopefully soon, we get the scoop from Price himself. What are his intentions for the future? And because this is one of the biggest obstacles in Montreal right now, I want to know how you guys think 
this one's gonna play out. What are they gonna do with him? Do you think they're gonna buy him out? Do you think they're gonna try and trade him? Or do you think they're just gonna try and ride out his contract until it ends? Let me know all about it down in the comment section. Don't forget to smash a fluorescent light bulb over the like button on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.